Hi Jose, I'm Mike Senior here at Prolox Safety Limited and as promised today we're going to give you a short demonstration on how to fit one of our Prolock devices. You'll notice here we have our demonstration gate valve and we're going to be securing it to this yellow bollard fixing point here. This valve is currently in the closed position and I want to prevent it from turning counterclockwise into the open position. Now looking at where my bollard is the ideal fixing location is here, which will stop the valve from opening. To do so, we'll start with our Prolock galvanized wire, which is looped at one end. We simply pass this through the handle of the valve like so, and then back through the loop like this, and pull it tight, nice and tight there onto the valve. And as you can see, by me pulling that, that valve would not open if it was secured properly. We simply pass this wire around the fixing point like so. Once or twice is fine. Pull it nice and tight. And then in this area here is where we'll be fitting our Prolock device. So obviously you know it unscrews like so. You don't have to unscrew it all the way to the top so it comes off. Simply using the grooves there, pass the wire either side into the Prolock device like so and then holding the wire down, simply spin it down and tighten by hand. Once that's done, take our Prolock operating tool and finally secure the Prolock device like so. Now once this is tightened down with the Prolock tool, there is no additional security required. You don't have to fit a padlock or a security seal or a cable seal, that is secure and can only be undone using the Prolock tool. And as you can see, that device is in there and it prevents our valve from opening at full force. If you wish, you can fit a padlock or security seal up to six. There are six holes available for evidence of tamper or to see which engineer is working on a particular isolation. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you very much for watching.